This is Neo with There Is No Spoon Pictures. Uh, this is part three of basic DAT swapping. Uh, this is going to be a bit more of an advanced tutorial. This one's going to show you how to do very basic DAT editing. Uh, what we're going to need for that is our normal program, Altana Viewer, and then a program called VRS or Virtual Reality Studios. That's the program that's actually going to be doing the editing. Uh, I will provide links in the the video information on the right will provide links to all these programs I'm using. Uh, what we're going to be doing today, uh, the edi editing I'm going to be doing, is on the Mithra, Mithra model. Uh, one thing I don't really particularly like is the flaps that hang down from certain armor. Uh, this is the gaudy harness for Bard or Beastmaster. And what I'm going to be basically doing is these two flaps on the sides of, her, of, the, of the armor that hang on her hips. I'm going to be using the VRS program to basically remove those flaps from the piece of armor. Um, so what we need to do is open up VRS. Uh, it's a pretty complicated program to learn to use. Uh, once you get used to it, it does become a bit easier, uh, but it is pretty daunting when you first start. It's a English translation of a Japanese program, so there's not a lot of, of uh, readable information on the internet to tell you how to use it. There are several tutorials, but they don't go really into depth. It's more of a, a trial and error uh, learning experience with the program. Um, so what you need to do is open up the model you wish to edit. You click on the toolbar here, uh, Model Read. And if this is the first time you're using the program, what you're going to have to do is click on the Property tab, and right here in this window, uh, you're going to have to browse to the Play Online Final Fantasy folder so that VRS knows where your Final Fantasy install is at. Uh, once you set that up, then it'll find the models fine. Uh, so what we need to do is click on the Mithra tab, uh, we're going to be changing the body armor, um, which in here is labeled as Coral Merman's Harness. That's the, the model that the Gaudi Harness uses. Uh, so we click OK to open that up. And what you're going to see here is I use three windows. Uh, this window down here, I always click the property and rendering. Leave everything here normal. Put this on flat rendering and click OK. And down here in the corner, it's going to give you an in-game view of the model, that the way you'd see it in the game. Uh, the window here at the top, um, what that is, is if you zoom out a bit and move it around, you're looking at the different sections of the model. All these blue pieces are the, the, the character skeleton that tells you how the model moves. And this piece over here, all the, the black, these pieces here are the actual model, the mesh model on the skeleton. Uh, this window here is the one we're going to actually be using to edit. And the first thing you want to do, just to make this a little easier to use, is uncheck the box that says Skeleton Object Show. And that's going to remove the blue skeleton markers and make it a bit easier to see. And what we're going to do is spin this around so it's a little easier to see. Another thing you may want to do is uncheck the Select Rear Show. What that's going to do is just show you the, the vertices and and uh, things that are in front of the model. You won't see all the the model pieces at the same time, just the ones that are directly in front of you. Um, so what you want to do is single select and you want to select these pieces up here until you find the piece that highlights the flaps we want to remove, which is right here. So then we go back to this window and we can spin it around so we can see these flaps a little better. And we also want to spin this model around so we can see this at about the same angle we're looking at our other window here. Uh, we're going to select single target or you can select to, to remove more than one vertice, vertice at a time. We're just going to do the uh, single for now. So again, select here. And then we'll just start selecting the vertices to delete. Actually, let's do the multiple select vertices. And then select these vertices, hit the delete button. And if you look on your model over here, the model will change as you remove the pieces of the model. We're going to spin it around to get a little better look over here. Select the target again. And if, if you look down here, you'll see that that flap is now gone. So we want to spin the model around and spin this, model, this part of the model around to get to this flap. Again, select the multi-select tool and select these vertices and remove them. Spin it around and get the last one here in the back. 
And if you look down here on our our in-game rendering model, you'll see that those flaps are now gone. So then what you want to do when you're finished editing the, the, the model is click Final Fantasy XI Model Save. And you want to leave all these alone, and you want to just click OK. It's going to automatically create the, the one you are editing, plus it's going to create a backup for you in the same uh, Final Fantasy XI folder that the data is, is located in. And depending on the complexity of the model, it can take uh, a few seconds to render or a few minutes. This one's a relatively simple one, so it uh, rendered pretty quickly. So then we'll close this out. And we're going to go back into, into the Altana viewer. And again, to get it to reload the model, click on a different model and go back to there. And if you look, your Mithra Gaudi Harness no longer has the flaps on the side. And that's how you do basic DAT editing with VRS.